What's up all my fellow YouTubians? This is Max. I'm Chris. We are on episode six of this mini off-road gas electric go-kart build that we got going on here. And this is gonna be a really sick one because it's the video you guys have been waiting for. This is gonna be the video where we take all this stuff, all this good electric stuff from my basement. Oh my God. And we're gonna put it on the go-kart. And that's a wrap to this video, so I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? So episode seven's coming out soon. Enjoy. All right, so we're gonna pause this, because it's been like a whopping three months since I've uploaded a video on this channel, and I feel like I owe you guys an apology and explanation of what happened. Why did I stop posting videos? I know so many of you are hooked on this mini off-road gas to electric go-kart conversion build that we got going on here. And you want to know what happens to the build. You want to see it done, I know. But I ran into a huge problem. And it was a massive problem. A problem that took me three months to try to actually come up with a solution for. But I think I've got it. And this video, even though in the intro I said we're going to put everything on the go-kart, it's not going to happen. I'm going to try to explain to you my solution to the problem I had that I think I figured out for us to move forwards and to continue this build. So without further ado... Here's what I got going on. When we left off episode five, I had everything on top of a table in my basement working. The throttle was working, the cooling system was working, everything was working, looked like it was ready to go. All I had to do was drop it onto the go-kart, make some brackets, and we would have a working off-road mini electric go-kart. But that's not the case. That's not what happened. It was a false sense of putting things together, which I myself even thought it was going to kind of work just to make the video, but it wasn't true. It wasn't using all the power that this motor and speed control is able to produce. And I want this thing to be overkill, stupid fast. I need the full 5kW to make the thing a rocket ship. So you're probably wondering. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you what do you mean, Chris? Why is it nothing working? And here's the problem. The battery is my problem with continuing this build for that go-kart. And what do I mean by that? To power a big motor and just a big vehicle, kind of like that mini go-kart, you need a lot of power. So a simple way of explaining this is a simple formula, which is watts equals volts times amps so there's a nice simple formula so volts times amps is going to give us our watts this is a 5kw motor so that means it's 5000 watts that's not peak that's nominal that means this thing will run forever at 5000 watts it's how much power it puts out it's a big motor. The problem lies in getting that kind of power out of a battery. So let's use this battery that I was using for our bench test on the table downstairs. It did make the motor move. It made it work. But if we take this battery and put it into this formula, let's see what happens. It's a 72 volt battery. It's limited by this 30 amp fuse, which goes on this main power feed. So we can't get anything more than 30 amps out of this battery because all it's gonna do is pop that fuse. So 72 volts times 30 amps, 72 times 30, gives us 2,160 watts, all right? So 2,160 watts is nowhere near the 5,000 watts this motor is gonna produce. Now, that's not a totally big problem because what I could do is I called up Golden Motor and they sent me in the mail this wire right here. What this wire allows me to do is plug this into the speed control 
and plug this into the computer and I can limit the amount of amps going through the speed control to the motor which will allow me to ultimately control this motor at all different amps so technically I could run this speed control and this motor off this battery by limiting the max amps to 30 instead of 200 or 300 is what it's rated for peak I can make it 30 but the problem lies then in the data sheet so at 72 volts right here with 30 amp current it gives us a torque rating of 4682 milli newton meters which if we convert that it's a whopping 3.4 foot pounds of torque I don't know how much realistically that go kart is going to need to accelerate but I know 3 foot pounds of torque is definitely not going to get that go kart moving off, a, off the line at a very high rate of speed so that's where the problem lies this battery even if I were to make it all work this go-kart would be super slow and not very fun and won't accelerate fast. So what's the solution to the problem? How did I end up countering this? A new battery. The new battery will fix all my problems. It would basically get me out of this hole that I've been in for the past three months. But what took me three months is figure out what kind of battery I want to use. Now I could have easily gone on to like Alibaba or some like Chinese website and ordered a 72 volt big 5,000 watt lithium ion battery like this thing and had it shipped to my house and everything it would have cost a fortune especially with our whole trade things with China and everything it just wasn't very realistic so I came out with a different alternative of batteries which I feel like is way better because you guys at home are able to go to the store and buy these batteries and use them in your homemade EV vehicles. So what do I mean by that? Well, this company Greenworks, Greenworks, they make electric lawn mowers and electric chainsaws and like blowers and like weed whackers. They make all kind of electric stuff. And they came out with this 80 volt lithium battery for their equipment. And this is, I think this is the answer to all my problems. So even though they say it's 80 volts, 80 volts is their peak charge. It's realistically 72 volt nominal. So they do that for like a selling point because 80 volts sounds better than 72. But these batteries are batteries that you can go to your local Granger, Lowe's, Walmart, and buy one of these batteries. And they're pretty well made, they're hefty, they got lithium batteries in there, and the coolest part about these is you can run them in parallel. That means you can keep the 80 volt, or 72 volt I should say, and run multiples of these batteries. So, what I'm thinking of doing is so far I ordered two of them I am gonna order six in total so I'm gonna have six of these green work batteries they're all five amp hour each but more important than that is one of these batteries one single battery has a max amp draw of 40 amps so there's a 40 amp fuse in the back of this battery and I know that because I took one of these apart and I saw the fuse in the back of the battery. It is 40 amps. So if I took six of these Greenworks batteries, where'd my pen go? If I took six of these green work batteries and we add that to our formula that we got here, which is watts equals volts times amps, let's do six times 40 
each one could put out 40 amps gives us 240 amps so let's do 72 volts times 240 amps 72 times 240 gives us 17,280 watts of power. That's massive. That's a big number. That will give us all the power in the world to accelerate this motor to whatever fun speeds we want to go at with a max amp discharge rate of 240 amps. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually limiting the controller to 200 amps. So we have a little safety cushion window. So our max draw is gonna be 200 amps instead of 300. And I feel like that's gonna give us enough oomph to get the go-kart going. Because if we were to go to our motor spreadsheet here and scroll down to the bottom, I know you guys can't see this, but just listen to what I'm saying. If we do even 157 amps, that gives us a millinewton ton torque rate of 28,175. So if we go to our conversion chart, 28,175 millinewton meters converts to foot pounds, gives us 20 foot pounds and I think 20 foot pounds is enough to get the go-kart moving. I think that's a nice amount of foot pounds. This is all in my head, in theory. I don't know if it's realistic, but that's the whole point of my channel is to experiment with this stuff for you guys to watch and we can learn together and see if it actually works. Or I'm going to record the whole thing catching on fire. So either way, it's going to be a win-win for you guys. But to move forwards with this build, we are using green work batteries that are coming from Lowe's. So for all you guys trying to make EV vehicles at home, if this works, you know where to get some high powered lithium batteries for a pretty decent cost. Also, the other bonus to this whole thing is, here's one charger, right? So from one of these batteries being completely dead, it takes 75 minutes to rapid charge. That means if I made this go-kart have six of these batteries all hooked in a parallel, if I was to take them out and put them on charge on six chargers, I can have the entire go-kart charged in 75 minutes. Now, me sucking this much power out of it, the go-kart is probably only going to last realistically, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. I really don't know. That we're gonna have to figure out in the future because you can use the same formula we got here, but use it for watt hours equals volts times amp hours. And that's kind of a different, that's more of understanding how much your battery can hold, not so much discharge. But I know that if I only do six of these, that's pretty much the minimum. It's actually not storing that much energy. If I wanted to, I could put eight. Max can tell you about putting eight, but he doesn't know, just like me. So we're gonna leave that up to the future, but I just want to let you guys know, we are continuing this build. We are using Greenwork batteries to power this build. And it's gonna happen, it's continuing. I didn't just stop making videos for no reason. So stick around, subscribe, stay tuned. Keep watching, put your notification on because this go-kart go is going to continue. It's going to be built. I'm going to finish doing everything on this go-kart. And I know you guys want to watch it, so I'll see you real soon. We'll be back. Episode 7 is coming soon. All right, peace.